high mobility combat had needed to be the epicenter of all of what we were doing. We were looking for a very unique style of movement and we started looking at martial arts in the world and capoeira was really the closest that we could come to that didn't have a stance where you move from one stance to a move and then back to a stance again. Capoeira is very much about fluidity of movement and perpetual movement. We wanted to fuse the mobility in combat, bounce off walls, jump on people, fire all these discs and then leap. And so for us, looking at capoeira and free running made perfect sense. One of the key mantras for the team as we were moving through this process was mobility is life. So everything we've created in the world actually allows us to live that mantra day in, day out. You run on walls to gain energy to keep you alive. You jump over objects to give you energy for your special weapons. And this really keeps the player mobile at all points. We put in some gameplay hooks to really like entice the player to get out of one spot, explore the environment, and really use mobility as a tool in combat. One of the most challenging things that we came across was our first light cycle experience. That was just a seat of your pants experience that we wanted to create. So lots of destruction, lots of stuff going on. Light cycles, the biggest change for them is that uh, the vehicle is much more updated in terms of physics. You could potentially do a 180 and you can throw your light disc from the light cycle. So we'll have levels where crazy stuff going on, buildings falling, things exploding around you. And then all of a sudden you've got to hop into a light tank and it's a different game entirely. Definitely the aggressive way to go. You just go in and bulldoze your way through with your light disc and nothing else. You can play more defensive and really make use of those disc powers and be more strategic, or you can do a combination of both. Each vehicle is its own game. It impacts us on how we create the physics representations for these different vehicles and how the game designers will tune those vehicles and make sure that they actually behave the way that we want them to. I think we realized we hit the sweet spot for the high mobility combat when we literally picked it up one day and we're like, wow, I have never seen this done in a video game before.